Hello viewers, Wesker Classic 7 here, and I'm doing the 8th episode of WTF Resident Evil Home Renovations. And what I'm talking about primarily is the puzzles in Resident Evil. And not so much as the puzzles themselves, as kind of where they are or how they're placed. Like, in, um, in Resident Evil 1, you have a puzzle where you're supposed to play a piano and then you switch two emblems so that way you can move a, a friggin clock aside and grab a key and you think well why would I ever do that why would anyone ever design that in their house spend thousands of dollars spend weeks measuring and aligning that to get so perfectly building that little friggin uh... little fail little opening for so you could stick a key wouldn't you just want to stick it like in a drawer in your room or something you would never actually spend all that money to just protect a key I mean one's an amber or a wooden emblem and then the other's a golden emblem and you have to grab those switch them play the play a certain song on the piano which means you need a certain that's already thousands of dollars if not more just to get sound software that recognizes that specific song Perf with the notes perfectly then have a wall pull it like self up because it's like a, tr a secret room then you swap the other emblem then you can put then the clock will move aside and then you could get the key yes that doesn't make sense at all I would never waste thousands of dollars maybe millions of dollars designing my house like that and the Resident Evil series themselves is oh is full of those ridiculous puzzles. I mean, I don't I don't I know there are people right now who are already bitching like oh well if you don't have those kinds of puzzles then how are you supposed to have puzzles? It's called a drawing board. Okay, when you think of something stupid, you think of something else not stupid. And just because oh well this is the only way we could get it to work, we'll keep thinking, keep thinking, and keep thinking. Change the story up a bit so that way you can actually have real puzzles, not stupid, but stupid, tedious, and mind-numbing puzzles that are just that are just a waste of time and really don't accomplish much. I mean, how the entire series is full of these puzzles. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why Capcom thinks if we put such a, a such a ridiculous puzzle in there, like in or in Resident Evil Three. How um, you go to a pharmacy or something like that? I can't remember exactly where the place is, and you have to um, grab the oil additive. So you turn on the TV, and even though the entire city has been overrun, that the um, news stations and all the cable networks—they're nice enough not to play news reports, but instead advertisements for your password. Because when you turn it on, that commercial just so happens to be your password. Really? I mean, like, you couldn't at least have a file somewhere on the ground? I know Resident Evil has found its way to make a fucking memoir in one goddamn game with hundreds of fucking files that don't mean anything. Apart from the ones, the few ones that actually mean something. Or, like, um... How about in Resident Evil 2, in the police station with those rubies? Who, what police station in the world has a, a step, has an entire puzzle in order to retrieve either A, a dart, or if you're doing the B scenario, a key card to unlock two or four doors, depending on which scenario. Actually, if you're doing the... Scenario B, you're unlocking four doors, I think, or two still. But you have to go to the second floor right before you go to the star's um, office, and you push. Um, basically, there's one statue in the middle holding Ruby up in his hand, and there are two two um, statues facing this way. You have to switch them. It'll drop the Ruby. Then you take that Ruby, put it in your pocket. Then you go downstairs. You go into um, a training room, set a picture on fire, then there's a ruby behind that. You take that, you go to another room, you stick those two rubies in another statue, and it's chest piece opens and you get that item. Um, 
janitor room or anything else in the world that would actually make sense than that. I mean, you can't just have something for the sake of having it. It doesn't make sense. You can't have something so stupid. There's suspension of disbelief, and then there's insulting my fucking intelligence by thinking I'm actually going to believe that somewhere in the world, a police station is going to have that goddamn puzzle. Do, do I even need to say anything more? Do I have to throw any more references for you people to really wake up and see that the Resident Evil series wasn't that great in the first place? And, sure, I love the games, but the fact is, like, if this was the best Capcom to do on the Xbox, well then shame on them, because that was a fucking abomination that I don't even want to call Resident Evil. I bought that game for some reason thinking it was going to be good, but it was like being punched in the fucking mouth by someone who works at the store and saying, here you go, I would have rather have just walked up to a cashier, handed him $60, and just walked out of the store not buying anything. It would I would rather just set the money on fire. I'd rather, I could have donated the goddamn money to charity. Anything. The puzzles in that game, I'm sorry, what puzzles? Tedious, mind-numbing waste of time to cover up the lack of plot or creativity, depth, anything? I don't need to say anything about that game. It sucked. Uh, like, these, these games are just full of the ridiculous puzzles that don't make any sense, and you would never even design your homes in such ways that you would have such puzzles. I mean, like, even in the police station again, in order to retrieve a key, uh, the club key, you have to go to um, a room where you mess with some buttons, but first you have to push these crates against a wall, three crates against a wall, then you have to turn the water on to flood that room so that you can walk across the crates and retrieve a key. Um, janitor room? I mean, like, really? It, it, do, I don't even need to say anything more. I mean, what the fuck, Resident Evil? Are, you, are, are they even trying? Are they just throwing something out there, thinking that the people are actually going to believe it's true? I mean, y you can't possibly expect me to think that, that that's exactly how something would th work in real life. I mean, come on, Capcom, if you think you're so good at writing and designing a game, you would have came up with something better than that. And I bet there's people sitting here right now saying, Oh, well you never had that. You never made a game. You've never written anything. I don't have to, to have an opinion. Okay? I have an opinion. I don't have to, to support that with, Oh, I, I have, I wrote this, I wrote this movie. So now it means I'm entitled to my opinion. No, I already have my opinion, okay? Which means I can say what I want and back it up with actual fact. There's a difference. So what the fuck, Resident Evil? What the fuck?